Hello everyone. In this week's video we will learn how we can use the Raspberry Pi GPIO output pins as a digital output to control an LED from our dashboard. So all that is is we have a small little dashboard here with a switch called LED and if we switch it from off to on we can see that our LED gets activated and if we click again it gets deactivated. So let's get started by configuring our GPIO output node. First let's collapse all the node categories and then open the Raspberry Pi and we drag in a Raspberry Pi GPIO out node. Now if we double click on it we can see a very similar UI to the Raspberry Pi GPIO input node. That's because we are using the same pins on the same device so it's all pretty similar. Now as you can see on the camera view we are connected with the plus to GPIO 23 that's pin 16 so this would be this wire here and the other wire is just connected to the ground. So that means if we activate GPIO pin 23 which is on pin 16 we will go through this resistor into the LED it will activate and then if we cut the power again it will deactivate. So let's here use pin 16. Down here we want to make sure that it's a digital output and we would like to initialize the pin state. So here we can define what the state should be after restarting our node red. And we would like it to be zero. Okay, that's all for the configuration here. Since we have selected the type to be digital output, we can use simply two inject nodes with one of them setting a boolean true and the other one a boolean false. Now if we connect those inject nodes to our GPIO output nodes, we can test our GPIO pin. So as you see, if we press true, the LED gets activated and if you press false, it gets deactivated. Now another thing that we have managed by initializing the pin state is that if we set it to true and then for some reason our node red restarts, we can see that the LED gets deactivated. So now let's create a small dashboard with a switch node to simply turn the LED on or off. So first let's configure a simple dashboard. We will name it Raspberry Pi and give it a group of GPIO output. Then we won't need those inject nodes but rather we use a dashboard switch and here we want the label to be gpio or let's let's call it led and we want need the icon here and we want to send it through when it's on and the false when it's off so that's perfect now we can connect it up and if we deploy and go to our dashboard we can see our little switch here and if we activate it we can also see that the LED gets activated. So that's it for this tutorial, I hope you liked it and you could learn something.